Hope and healing. A young Shelby County boy diagnosed with spina bifida was not expected to live, and if he did live, doctors did not believe he would walk. But tonight, in this Go Jim Go family profile, WRG's Alex Coleman shows us how eight-year-old Trenton Eddie is not just walking, but beating the odds because of the care he received at Levon. Oh, you want to see the camera? Lights, <laughs> camera, action. You could say eight-year-old Trenton Eddie has never met a camera he didn't like, or one that didn't like him. I don't see it. Whether being curious about how a camera works. Um, yeah, yeah, I know, but I can't see it. I don't know. Or playing in a backyard swing, Trenton is being pushed to new heights. Okay, you ready? With a little help from his big sister, ready? Grayson, and their mom, Lindsay. They both get a little choked up when they talk about how amazing he is. So I think he's really special to this family. <laughs> he brings us all together. When our brother was born, he was born with spina bifida. And I think you always pray that your child is going to be taken care of. <laughs> Gosh, I have not cried in so long. <laughs> it's like the tears are for how Trenton has overcome barriers of when he was born in Bentonville, Arkansas, with spina bifida, hydrocephalus, and Chiari malformation of the skull. When Trenton was born, we didn't think he was going to live. We were told he wasn't going to live. And so um, I think I became the fierce protector of, we had so many doctors that told us just to abort. And um, that just couldn't be my story. Before he was born, Lindsay was also told her baby might have other complications, such as a disorder called holoprosencephaly, an abnormal brain development. He was going to have one hole for his eyes and nose. Um, and when they showed him to me, his face looked completely normal. Um, and they said, and I remember asking, like, is he, he looks normal, is he going to live? And they said, Yes, he has spina bifida, but he's going to live. Still, Lindsay wanted to make plans to bring her son home, but couldn't. We didn't buy any diapers. We didn't buy onesies for him because we didn't want to come home to an empty nursery. A specialist in Bentonville recommended the family either move to Little Rock or Memphis to give Trenton his best chance of surviving. His mom knew La Bonner is where her son needed to be. They gave us the chance of life that we needed. And so they had the hope that I needed to have alongside of me, and they were willing to fight with us. Trenton's fight included being told he might not be able to ever walk because he had some paralysis and club feet. He has been through 12 surgeries so far. It's been five brain surgeries, and the rest were all on his legs and feet. In spite of all of the surgeries, Lindsay remained hopeful. The scary diagnosis to me was nothing because it was, I had a choice to abort him and I chose to keep him and God was giving me the chance to show what a gift he was going to become. One of Trenton's gifts was felt the day his mom saw him defy all the odds and take his very first steps as he tried to get to a playroom at La Bonner. He let go of the wall one day and just walked from the wall to the playroom. It was only 11 steps, but for his family, it felt like he had walked miles. God's in control. God has, I mean, all the things that they told us he would never do, all the things that there was, all the fears, and it was just, Trenton just kept breaking barrier after barrier after barrier. Those broken barriers mean today Trenton is playing. Record, stop, no, 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 no. Running no. and even flirting with his nurses. He would open the door and peek his head out and just say, hey, ladies, and they would just be giggling at him the whole time, and so he's Mr. Personality. Last thing I remember. He's got a personality and a determination not to let anything get in his way. He's not going to take no for an answer. He's going to figure it out. He's going to adapt. He's going to he's going to push through and with a smile on his face. A smile made possible because of their faith and Trenton's team of doctors, nurses, and staff at La Bonner. They go above and beyond there. They they just that between the nurses, the doctors, the therapists, it could be the staff in the cafeteria. It could be the janitor coming in with the big joyous smile checking in on her babies. Um, we've had it all. A family's prayer answered as Trenton is living life to his fullest because of Labonner, a beacon of hope and healing. Just every memory we have in that hospital has 
so much passion and love for that hospital that, I mean, my heart explodes talking about it because it has truly been a gift to us. Thanks for visiting us. Yeah, that was fun. Thank you for helping him and Thank you for um, trying your hardest on letting him come home with all of us. Alex Coleman, WREG TV, News Channel 3. Uh, a lot of lessons learned in that story there. And you don't want to miss our Le Bonner Telethon happening tonight at 6. Well, you'll hear more stories of success like that. You can help kids at Le Bonner by scanning the QR code on your screen or by calling our donation line at 888-780-8811. If you don't get through the first time, just keep trying. The hospital has been getting tons of phone calls from people just like you all day wanting to donate.